What's going on, Cody? This is Faithy, and Nisa has just dropped the ball, man. They have officially announced Kosio 3 for the Nintendo Switch. I was not expecting any kind of big news for Nisa for the rest of the year since Kosio 3 came out. But hey, man, they decided, hey, we're just going to drop the trailer for Kosio 3 for the Nintendo Switch. And this is what's coming out on Spring 2020. I'm going to play the, the trailer here real quick so we can all see it. I'm gonna talk about it real quick here and show you what's going on here. The new trailer. Oh, and you see the Nintendo logo and the Falco logo, of course. So yeah, guys, this is gonna be a Switch port. A turbulent era lies for ahead. those that are asking for the Switch port, here it is. And always be aware of the flow of events in the world. We don't have time to waste. Let's begin. It's looking nice, man. It's looking nice. Just looking by the trailer. It's looking nice. Joseph Osio 3. Graduate yep. of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. I now officially declare the formation of Class 7 Special Operations. For the last two years, you've helped me out more times than I can count. I'm asking this of you gotta love the ring speeches, man. Hey, this is looking nice. It's looking nice for Class a switch, for, for switch board. It's nice. Put everything you have into defeating the target. As long as you find meaning in what we're doing, you have a place in Class 7. Think hard about what you believe, what you want to accomplish, the kind of future you want, and, most importantly, who you are. Take all that to heart. <laughs> The rain speeches, man. You gotta love them, man. <laughs> it's looking nice, though. I gotta say, man, for a Switch port, it's not, it's not a, it's not a disaster-looking game for the Switch, but it's looking nice. I gotta say. Trails of Cold Steel Three, and then we're gonna see the announcement right here. Coming Spring 2020. All right. Now guys, let me talk about the Switch port real quick, what it entails and what exactly is going on here, what the, what the resolutions. So it says here, by GameSpot, I'm going to show you guys the gameplay of the game, see GameSpot actually got gameplay of the game, raw gameplay, I'm going to be showing you guys the raw gameplay here of GameSpot. Alright, it says here guys, the Switch version runs at lock 720p resolution at 30 frames per second in both dock and on dock modes. That is basically the biggest gist that I want to go over here. I mean, besides the, the graphics, besides the model being thumbed down, I think the biggest thing that I see here is that the game is locked completely at 30 FPS per second, uh, whether you have a dock or on dock. I think that is huge. You got to keep that in mind when you buy this on the Switch. But I do want to talk about a little bit of this port, basically, because it's kind of... It, when it comes to Kiseki, it's kind of leaving me in the confusion state of mind because... If you guys haven't noticed, Kosuo 3 is going to be the first Kiseki game on the Switch, right? We, there's no Trolls in the Sky series, there's no Kosuo 1 and 2. So, it's very hard for me to kind of like push this as a, as a fan that be like, Hey, uh, Kosuo 3 is coming out on the Switch, excellent. But what happened with Kosuo 1 and 2? Where is Kosuo 1 and 2 on the Switch, man? Where is Trolls in the Sky? Why would you put a, a sequel of a game, you know, this is like the A sequel of the series or something like that? Why would you put it on the Switch first? But I'm assuming that Nisa has a contract with Falcon where they announce, where they sign or whatever, saying, hey, we're going to have a Switch port coming and a, a PC port coming. They had to get it out, basically. This is the point that they had to get it out. This game had to come out on the Switch because that's part, basically part of the contract with Nisa, you know. Now, I want to talk about a little bit of the PC port, which I'm about to go over in a second, and the Switch port. So basically, I think this is what, what's going on right now. So Nisa basically work on, on the Switch port by themselves, and they're basically going to hire someone for the PC port, uh, because for them to be announcing this, you know, ready to go for Spring 2020, you know, before the year ends. I mean, the year hasn't been ended, and Call Steel 3 came out about less than two months ago. And they're already having, you know, this trailer for the Switch. Hey, the Switch is coming. Before I go on and talk about the PC port, let me talk about a little bit of history of Nisa. So you guys know about Nisa. They really screw up the G8 Lacrimoso of Donna, basically, 
uh, PC port. You guys know what happened. I made videos of it or, or multiple videos of it, but I'm gonna go over quickly about it. Basically, they, they decided to release the Switch port and the PC port at the same time. They basically, the ports were basically done in house in ISA, but they really jacked up the PC port to the point that they had to delay it. And you know, there was another issue with the translation, which is another issue that is Nisa had. But basically, Nisa did not, could not handle the low of having you know, of, of, of porting both games to two different systems, you know, of uh, the translate and translating this A and, and porting it out to the Switch and PC was too much work. So, I feel like what Nisa is doing here is that they work on the, on the Switch port in house and they hire someone else to do the PC port. So, what is the rumor going on about the PC port? What is going on with it? Where is the PC port announcement? So, let me talk about this real quick, guys. So, Durante, let me talk about a little bit of Durante. Durante is a, is a basic, basically a person that work on the on the port of Cosio 1 and 2. If you guys know, you guys bought this on, on, on Steam. He was very interactive with the community, and, you know, fixing bugs of the game. And basically got the game up to speed. You know, he, he, he was the first, I think he was the first person... That kind of put the, the the high speed mode and stuff like that. He was the guy that basically went in with the series and basically got the PC port up to date for Cosium One and Two. Durante left like some kind of like a message yesterday saying that he's he's working to be he's working on a game a JRPG to be specific. He set out to release this game on Spring, which is kind of funny because the Switch uh, the Switch of Cosium Three port is coming on Spring. So I feel like Nisa probably hired this man to do the PC port because, like I said, Nisa cannot do the Switch port and PC port in house at the same time. I feel like they they cannot be splitting too many people to do the port. They don't want to make another mess or PC port that they did with this eight, and they want to get it right with Cosio three. So I feel like Durante could be the guy that is gonna be releasing this game. For the PC now, don't call me on this. This is just him saying a JRPG, and he's saying on Sprint. But I feel like Durante could be the guy that should work on. A uh, little backstory about Durante. Durante also make his own studio or PC port. So a lot of a lot of studios go to him now to do PC ports uh, of the game. Let's say if I release a game on the PS4, if I wanna, if I don't wanna work on on a, on a PC port, I can just hire this guy and he will make the PC port for me. Durante is a very well known in the Kiseki community because he did a wonderful job on Kosio One and Two. So I do feel like that he is possibly the guy that's gonna be releasing Kosio Three for the PC. So like I said, this is all rumors. Durante this said that he's working on a JRPG and it's. It, you know, he cannot say which game it is due to contract reasons. You know, you gotta say contract and, and DNA is saying, hey, you cannot be leaking anything. So, we just gotta wait and see. But PC guys, just hang on tight. That game will definitely, Coastal 3 will be coming out on the PC eventually. You know, I'm pretty sure it's, com it's, com it's coming out in 2020 as well. We just gotta hang on tight for the announcement. It's just, it's, I just gotta say, it just surprised me to see a Nintendo Switch Coastal 3 port trailer before the year ends i was not expecting this i was expecting this trailer kind of like in the beginning of next year but nisus is going in man they, they they're trying to get that money and the kiseki is the new you know the is the new hype the new hype they they gotta make that money man all right guys i want to end this video by saying that next week uh falcon shareholders meeting should be starting up soon so you guys, you guys already know what's happened during the uh, shareholders meeting. We're going to be knowing what's going on with the Nuki Seki. We might officially know the title of the game. And we might officially know the MC. We're probably going to see the MC faces. Who's going to be the MC. What the game's going to be about. We're going to see screenshots. You know, that kind of stuff. So make sure you subscribe and you stay tuned. Because once those leaks start coming out, I'm going to be talking about them with, you know, with information like I usually do. And we crack it up, man. You know, and Kiseki has had a wonderful year this year. And we're going to be ending this year with more Kiseki, with more wonderful news. So, hey, man, we're going to be on top of it. All right, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I don't want to make this too long. They call me Faithy, and I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Catch you.